Well, hello, your favorite YouTuber here, <laughs> Marius Konieczny. I received an interesting question today, and I thought that I would make a quick video about it. The question was, why do I still hold Oracle? Can't I find something better? And it's an interesting question, because I can find you something better on anything every week. Every week I can have a new video. Oh, I found this great stock, undervalued, the management is great, the upside is fantastic. Everything is wonderful. Every week I can sell you on an idea. Every week. But you see, that's not how you make money. You don't make, well, I would make money. If I found you an idea every week, you would watch it. I would get more views. I would get advertising. I would make money. You wouldn't make money. Because jumping from one potential to another is not how you make money. You make money on sitting on your butt and letting your investments come to fruition. Having your undervalued opportunities become reasonably valued or become even overvalued plus the growth of the company that's how you make money that's why i talk about on this youtube channel right now i talk about three companies that's it oracle since 2017 voxter since 2020 secure i think since 2021 i think and I'm going to be talking about those companies for many more years until the thesis plays out. So if Oracle gets bought out, I don't know, 2023, 2024, then that's when I'm going to stop. Baxter might continue longer. I mean, it could also get bought out. But if it doesn't get bought out, then, uh, then the thesis can play out for 10 years. And you're going to hear me talk about it for 10 years. Uh, same thing with Secure. You know, uh, there, there's no stop to some of these opportunities unless they get bought out. So, so for those of you that, let's say, say, well, why are you talking about these uh, three companies or two companies, whatever? You know, isn't it? You know, you pumping this stuff. Look, th these are my positions. This is what I talk about. Yeah, if you don't like it, change the freaking channel. But this is what I talk about, and that's what I do. I got involved with Oracle, uh, where the legals were not resolved, and I continue being involved with Oracle uh, until the buyout. That's what I am in it for, till the buyout. Now, that doesn't mean that every single share that I hold, I will hold all the way to the buyout. It doesn't mean that. Um, but I am going to be involved with many, many shares. I'm going to be involved all the way to the buyout even though yeah i can find something better but that's not how you make money you make money by sitting and doing nothing that's that's how you make multi-baggers you don't make multi-baggers uh, over months okay you just don't i mean you you might have a fantasy that that's what happens but that's not what happens and so and i've always been like this and and now holding the positions for so long, um, let me put it this way. In order to make real, real money, you have to hold the positions for a long time, years. But just because you hold the positions for a long time doesn't mean you will make the money. You see the difference? And I've done this with the miners. I held them for a long time and they destroyed me. Why? Because they didn't deliver. They did not deliver on what they said they were going to deliver. So if you hold something for many years and they deliver, you will make a killing. Assuming you didn't overpay for it, you will make a killing. If you hold something for a long time and they fail to deliver, you will waste a lot of years and you will lose money. It's simple as that. But the question was interesting. Why do I hold it? That's because I don't buy 
I don't buy into uh, investment thesis. And in other words, this is what a lot of people do. They have a particular thesis, you know, the company is gonna do A, B, C, D, the stock is gonna go to this price. And then they buy it. And two months later, uh, you know, uh, or, or during that time, they, talk, they, te they, they tell this thesis to other people. And as a result, people get excited on this thesis, the stock goes up and then they sell. Well, they sell, sell for a profit, let's say. You know what? You weren't right on the thesis. The thesis hasn't even played out yet because it takes years. What you did is you exposed the thesis, you got a bunch of people excited about the thesis and you sold it. You, you, your thesis did not work out yet. I'm not saying it won't work out. It did not work out yet until the thesis plays out. So understand why you're investing. Are you investing in a thesis or are you investing um, in a story that you can sell to somebody else? I don't do stories. I don't do stories. I do, I invest in companies and I stay with those companies for many, many years, for good and for bad. And with Oracle, the thesis was solve the legal problems, confirm the historical drilling, expand, sell. That's it. That's how long I'm going to stay, stay in it. It doesn't matter if there's other great investment opportunities out there, other girlfriends to go after. I'm sticking with it because that's what I do.